Okay, so first of all, go to Insert and Illustrations and Pictures, place in Cell and then Insert Picture from this device. Then I'll press Control A to select all of the pictures in this folder. And because of the way that I have named these pictures, they'll come in in the correct order. And Insert. And now I have a picture in each of these cells in this column. This is a new feature in Excel, so at the moment it's only available to people on the beta channel. Now I'll select the first two columns and I'll insert a scatter chart. Then I'll right click and go to Change Chart Type and then go to Templates and select this template that I made earlier and OK. Now I have the chart formatted the way that I want it. Now I'll create a drop down list, so I'll go to the Data tab and then select Data Validation and allow only values from a list and then that list will be the first column here with the dates in it and enter and OK. And now I have a drop down list here with all of the dates in it. I need to format these so I'll click somewhere inside the first column and then go to Format Painter and then click this cell to get the correct date formatting. And now I can select different values from the drop down list and they'll appear in this cell. Now I will create a highlight column, so we'll use an if function to do this. The logical test will be if this date here is equal to the date in the drop down list. And I'll press F4 to make that an absolute cell reference. And then if the value is true, I want it to show me this number here. And if the value is false, then I want it to show the NA error and close brackets and enter. Then I'll double click to send this formula down. And you can see here that the only number in this column is the one for the 29th of March, which is the date in the drop down list. And if I change this to a different value, then the number moves. Now I'll select the whole of this column and Control c to copy and select the chart and Control v to paste. And now I have an extra marker here. And I will quickly format this. Now I have a red dot showing the date in the drop down list. And if I change the date, then the red dot moves. Now I'll use a XLOOKUP formula to find the correct picture. So the lookup value will be this date here, and then the lookup array will be the column with the dates in it, and the return array will be the column with the pictures in it, and close brackets and enter. And now I have the correct picture in this cell. I want to make this cell bigger, so I'll double click on the chart and go to Properties and change it to Don't Move or Size with Cells. Then I'll be able to make this row bigger without it affecting the chart. And I'll also make this column wider. And we can double check to make sure that we've gotten the right picture because I have the date here at the top. So I know that this is the 19th of March. And now if I change the value in the drop down list, everything updates. So I can change this to look at a day that has high concentrations, so the 13th of March, for example, and I can see what the wind directions were like on this day. And I can also choose a different day with high concentrations, so the 30th of March, and look at what the wind direction was like on this day. Or I can choose a day with low concentrations and I can see what the wind direction was like then. 
Okay, so in this video, I have shown you an example of how to use the place image in cells feature in Excel. And that is everything.